Hey friends, Jeanette here again, and I'm just popping in. Um, I've made a few posts this week about carrier oils and a Young Living product called Orange Blossom Facial Wash, and I showed you how to make a foaming foaming pump for it. Um, skin care is always kind of weird to talk about because it's so personal, right? But I'm just sharing kind of what I use and how I use essential oils in that. Another part of my skincare routine is using what's called the oil cleansing method. Um, has anybody else ever used that? When I first learned about it, I thought it was really crazy because you literally use like a carrier oil, a fatty oil to clean your face. And it makes a lot of people kind of back away. Um, but there are a lot of people that actually use it with great um, success, even people with oily skin or acne prone skin. And what I've learned about it is that it takes... Um, some, you, you need to figure out what carrier oils work for your skin. Anyhow, look up the oil cleansing method because it's really kind of cool. I've been using it for about ooh, three or four years and I have alternated the orange blossom facial wash in during the times of the year where my, I feel like my skin needs it. But anyhow, I'm going to show you how I make mine. My recipe is, I use jojoba oil. That's so fun to say, right? I got this at a health food store. I got jojoba oil and I have grapeseed oil. Right now I have this grapeseed oil. This is Wild Tree grapeseed oil. It's from another independent company. I really like Wild Tree, so if you know a Wild Tree rep, you know, support them. I like them. And also castor oil. This is a giant thing of castor oil. This is hexane free and it's organic. Uh, I'm choosy about my castor oil because there are different ways to process castor oil and some of them aren't great. So anyhow, the basic recipe that I use is two ounces of jojoba, two ounces of grapeseed, and then a quarter teaspoon of castor oil. It's not very much castor oil. I've also learned that I need to use a funnel when I make things like this because I'm a little bit messy. So here's my repurposed bottle from a... I bought some jojoba oil at um, Schmader Schmoes a few years back. And so I'm just going to add my two ounces of jojoba oil. And two ounces is also a quarter cup for those of you that know your kitchen math. So there's my two ounces of jojoba oil. And then I'm also going to do two ounces of grapeseed oil. I don't know why this brand of grapeseed oil is kind of greenish, but anyhow. I'm just going to measure it in there. So that's one, two. And like I said before, it's all about finding the carrier oils or the fatty oils that work for you and that work for your face. My sister likes to use jojoba and um, avocado oil, and that works for her. Um, different oils for different skin types. And so, yeah, do some research on the oil cleansing method. Anyhow, so there's my bottle of the two types of oil, and I'm only going to use a quarter teaspoon of castor oil. Castor oil is actually very drying, and uh, if you research castor oil and what castor oil is used for. I know that castor oil is used for things like inducing labor or expelling things out of your body or um, I don't know what else, constipation maybe? But it castor oil like pulls things out. So I don't want a whole lot of stuff to pull out. And it's also kind of sticky too. It's like it's viscous, it's kind of sticky, so castor oil is great. There's that song in Mary Poppins about not feeding the kids castor oil. The perfect nanny. I'm in a show, or I'm in a production of Mary Poppins. We have two more shows, tonight and tomorrow, in Hastings. So anyhow, I have my carrier oils. Hoba, um, uh, what is that? Grapeseed and castor oil. Then I add my essential oils, and there's a ton of essential oils that are really good for your skin, really good for supporting skin health. What I like to use, I, I use, usually use lavender, and I am adding geranium, and I'm also going to add helichrysum, because helichrysum is good for skin healing, and um, it's good for a lot of things. But once again, look up oils for your skin, and find out what your skin type is, and what oils work well for you. I'm going to add five, I'm going to add five of lavender and five of geranium, and I'm only going to add three of helichrysum. I don't do a whole lot of drops in here for a couple reasons. When you wash your face, your cleansing stuff doesn't spend a whole lot of time on your face. So 
I think that's five. So I don't, I don't put a whole lot of drops in because it's not going to spend a whole lot of time on it. So anyhow, so lavender, geranium, here we go. Geranium comes out a little faster than lavender, I think. Four, five, I have to smell it because I love the smell of geranium. Geranium is one of those that some people really like and some people um, don't really care for it. Geranium is one of the the big sense and joy. Geranium is also good for uh, emotions as well. And then helichrysum is very, very healing for your skin. So I'm just going to put three drops in. One, two, three. Ooh, that comes out really fast. And there it is. So it took me two, three minutes to make it. And then this will last me probably about five months. Because I, I alternate it. Great for taking off eye makeup. But it's for me, it's hydrating for my skin, but it's not... It doesn't leave my skin greasy. So there you go. Oil cleansing method. Let me know if you use it too or look it up and try it. It's I started because I was interested in it. I had these essential oils and I wanted to use them. It's really economical and it's effective. So enjoy your day. Take care. Talk to you later.